The more things change, the more they stay the same here in Alex. It's an old tale of inequality, congestion and crime. And it's home to 18-year-old Anele. I think La Paboma half past six. She and her partner had just returned from church when they were led to this bush at gunpoint on December the 26th. Don't move. Ninga pege mover, ninga nzi anything, futi ninga tali usizo. They said if you ask for help, we will shoot you and everyone that is trying to help you. Fearing for their lives, they complied and ended up here. Robbed of their ID books and cell phones, the money they had was only 13 rands, but provoked more aggression from the criminals. They shot at my shoulder at low range. I threw myself to the ground. Hoping to save her life, Anele played dead. One of them started searching and groping me. He wanted to rape me. The other one was hitting my head and turning my neck to check if I was still alive. He then said this thing is dead. Her partner was next. He was paralyzed with shock. After they took my shoes, they went to him and shot him in the arm. He became too weak. They then disappeared. Okay, after five minutes, I'm busy. Wake up, wake up, Asand. I as long as I respond, she was busy. She was busy crying. Anele tried to drag him to the nearby London Road, but she was too weak. They had both lost a lot of blood. I then rushed to the road to get help, but my pleas were rejected by more than five motorists. But no, we can't help you. Losing hope, losing blood. Time too was running out. She decided to risk her life, kneeling in the middle of Alex's busiest road. But okay, think that I wanna, because when I. A truck driver realized I was struggling to breathe. He then decided to take me to the clinic. Anele later called her partner's friend to go to the bush to look for him. But it was too late. The attackers had already returned. He found him with three more bullets to his stomach and one through his head. He also sustained injuries on his face. They took his clothes. The deceased's family declined to be on camera. Meters from the scene, over a hundred shakes raised to the ground. On Saturday, residents took matters into their own hands. A suspect ran away with a bag which was full with the cell phone inside it. And the ID of the people, there is no such thing as a xenophobic here. We were just dealing with the problems that we have. We can't have four bodies that is lying here and there is nothing that is happening after that. Residents say there is no turning back. Here in Alexander, they just take us for granted. So we are coming for round two. And round two is going to be very, very heavy. Because this is our place. I'm also a victim. I, my house got broken into. My daughter became a witness. So I'm very scared. I'm even afraid for her to even go outside and play. But police have more questions than answers. We couldn't get record of these four bodies that are being spoken of. It's obviously worrying that the first thing that we're thinking, are there murders that went unreported? What we can confirm is that from the 1st of December until the 1st of January, we've had seven murders in Alexandra plus the attempted murder, and uh, two suspects have been arrested, but none of these, except for the, for the murder of the 27th, none of them were in the open field. They're all in different addresses. For Anele, the trauma is overwhelming. The bullet still stuck in her shoulder. It split into two pieces. 
She will return to hospital to get it removed in two weeks' time. For her and other residents, a new year on a fearful note. Lucky to be alive. Marie Kate Amalhabe, SABC News, Alexandra.